Uh, here's a tetrahedron with two people and a loop of string. Put your thumb underneath the loop. You both do the same thing throughout this. And make a loop like this so that the string can, can slide freely through your fingers. Take your other hand and make a loop from above on the string. Slide it halfway towards the center and join your th right thumbs at the top. Now take your right index finger and pick up one of the strings of the other person. Make a loop with your own, with your own fingers and now pull it apart a little bit. And let's turn that. And now we've got a tetrahedron, four triangles. You'll notice two of the strings are doubled. Okay, we're now going to use one loop to make a sequence that starts with the tetrahedron, then creates a four-dimensional tetrahedron, sometimes called a four simplex, which we flatten out into a pentagram, and then we use that to create an octahedron. So they start by making a tetrahedron. And notice there are two pairs of doubled edges opposite each other. By pulling one of those edges to the center, we get what's called a four simplex, which has five vertices, each connected by one string to each other vertex. We can now flatten that out to make a pentagram. And now by pulling one pair of edges high, we get an octahedron. And I release those, and we go back to the pentagram. Then we release that and go back to the four simplex, and finally the tetrahedron, and finally a simple loop of string.